just saw that they've got this i8 BMW here and I think this might be one of the cars that I would really be interested in. I really miss the doors that open up upwards that I had on my Lamborghini and the Audi it's great but it's so low and I can very seldomly open up the doors if I'm parking next to a curb and I think this is going to be the answer and because I'm used to it I think that is what will make this worthwhile so I'm going to take it for a test drive I'm just going to get the feel for the car it's absolutely gorgeous I think this is something really special Yep, that's something special, all right. Sharky! Sharky! Tell us a joke, Sharky. <laughs> Just look at that, showing his teeth in a friendly way. <laughs> Little Bella is just clinging to Arnie and she is talking away. And Duncan is right here bumping me while I'm trying to hold still. And here comes all the dogs. <laughs> Daisy, he just leaps over and Duncan will to sort her out. Here they come. <laughs> it is. <laughs> she is just holding on to him. Just look at that grip. There's nothing he can do. <laughs> he takes her hand off. <laughs> uh, she's becoming really strong. I can feel it there as she's gripping. She is really, really strong. Cutest monkey in the world. Enzo, Diego. Enzo. Come in, Zoki. Those two birds that you hear there, I'm going to see if I can find them. Look at all those doves fly. They are hardy doves. That's what we call them. That's two of them. And uh, yeah, I've always had one of those around. Where's this little bird now? There he is. And uh, those. Hardy does well they fly around here they eat in the fields they eat all kinds of little things and they used to always hang around my house and uh, yeah they are still now and then they come here and I want to show you some pictures of when I had one living here at my house and he was sitting on my car always 
and I took some pictures probably 10 years ago. You can hear them there in the background. They haven't come over here yet now, but they will. And especially quarter past six. That's in the afternoon. Then they fly right over my house. I guess they're going home then. But I hear them there. Let's see, maybe they come back. Okay, so now this is not a tiger cage anymore. Now it is a dog cage. <laughs> and they are very happy to be in there. Okay, the dogs are running around playing. And I just picked up this bird's nest. And it's a bit heavy. So there might be something in there. Like eggs or anything of the sort. But I'm just going to pull that branch down. Hook it onto there. And just lift it up and maybe the little bird won't even know that it fell down so now yeah, let's see maybe it works it's worth a shot at least okay Arthur has decided to join when all the dogs came this side he didn't he is still very cautious of coming to this side but yeah there's the bird's nest back up and it's quite high I don't think the tigers can reach it because it's higher than their wall and uh, yeah, I think it'll be perfectly fine. I'll just check it out. Enzo is screaming over there. He wants to come out. But yeah, they are just playing, having fun. Oh, they... <laughs> okay, they're done. They have to come on us to the other side. Want to get the tigers back in here. The nest is up. And I'll just check it out quite heavy so I'm sure there's something in there of value okay, just running around checking everything out even Billy just 10 minutes it changes these dogs completely they just need to get out and take a nice run through the tiger's enclosure. And you can see that smile on their faces. They change totally. And uh, yeah, some of them are a little naughty. Look at Sachis over there. Rolling in, well, let's just say that's not exactly flowers that he's rolling into. But it's dry at least. So he's doing a lot of effort. And he's gaining absolutely nothing. <laughs> Those lot over there. Yeah, that's what dogs do. And uh, I'm, I'm going to clean up here now. After I let the dogs out. Because they do their thing. And I don't want the tigers to walk around here. After the dogs have been using their place as a bathroom. <laughs> but at least... I will clean up before I let the tigers back in. Well, I had to go to a funeral today and what a pleasure when I got back. Look at this. Pete did all the work for me. And uh, yeah, this is absolutely amazing. Uh, he's helping me so much these days. And uh, yeah, I just better not get spoiled because I've been doing all of this work alone all of the time. And now, finding this, like, this is just saving me at least 45 minutes, right there. And I'm quite glad about that. Uh, yeah, let me carry on. I can just feed the tigers and be done with it. Someone said they didn't see Turbo around for a while. Here he is. You just need to put out the right kind of cat food for them to all show up. They need at least two or three or maybe even four different kinds of food. Because cats don't eat the same stuff. Here I've got some and there I've got some of vegetarian cats blocks. There it is. And then that one over there. Well, she's eating a chicken. <laughs> so they are totally different. And then upstairs I've got food for little cutest cat in the world. Because she prefers the tins. But yeah, let's see. Maybe she comes down and she can eat with the rest. But there is a, 
<laughs> I forgot his name. That is Computer Cat and Bucky over here. And Sa Sassy, no, sorry, this is Sassy Pants and Frenius Cat in the World and Katas. And just look at the meat. And there's the mother cat as well. Well, let me go see where is cutest cat in the world. We better get her here before they eat everything. Okay, Enzo and Diego ready to eat. Let's start. I'm gonna throw the first one for Enzo and then for Diego. And now the cats are looking at me like where's ours? But this is for Enzo. This one is for Diego. Yep. I still got it. I know how to throw chickens. I've thrown thousands of chickens in my life. And uh, yeah. <laughs> right on the shoulder. Look at me land this one on top of the one right in front of Diego's nose. Ah. Oh. And they are all fed. They're going to be eating for the next 10 minutes. And then there will be nothing left in those two buckets. It will be absolutely clean. And they're all just running around to try and find pieces of the leftovers from the chickens for the tigers. That is the treat. And that's what they are all trying to get hold of. This is something you do every day when you've got monkeys. They drink bottle with milk and sometimes with some fruit juices and things and they are all lining up to get some that's sissy that is little bella's mother and just look at little bella over here she is just playing in this old cage just put her in here with all the toys and she's absolutely safe and playing all the time yeah and there is buddy as well they really enjoy it And Sissy again. And Arnie again. And Billy. The light is a bright, little bright for him. I'm just going to put the shade in his eye. Crow is back, you hear him a mile away. And Diego even got up to listen where he is. There he is, right on the light. There he goes. There's another one in the field, sitting right over there. And here he comes. There he is. Now in this wind, he's got absolute great control. Just look at him. There he is. Amazing. Let's see if I can find him over here. It's a lot of wind here today. I think they're right on top of me. There they are. There he goes. Definitely checking something out here. Always oh, just posing. Oh man, I'm just having trouble getting him there. Because the sun is right in my face. But yeah, let's see over on this side. Heard the owl. Quarter past two this morning, the mother owl, she flew out of there and I was very happy to hear her. The little ones seems like they've moved on. I think they have got nests of their own now. There he goes. 
Well guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Very seldom that you see a crow even here in our areas, but that one is definitely, they are checking something out. I think they want to be eating. And that's probably what they're going to be doing. I want to see if I can put something on the roof of the house that they can come and eat apples or something like that. Well, the wind is perfectly on time. The 1st of August, and this is the August winds that we experience in South Africa every year. That is what August is famous for in this area, is for the wind that starts blowing today. <laughs> that means that there is a lot of heat, and the heat moves up, and the wind moves in from the sides, and this is what you get. So, everything is perfectly on time. I do believe in climate change, although I believe that there is a system in place that keeps climate exactly where it is. The ground level changes a bit here and there, but 1st of August and here is the wind. And Enzo's just looking at me there. Enzo! I guess he wants to stay out of the wind, but I've seen those crows handle it like you won't believe. And there they are. Getting, I know that walk. That is the I'm getting ready to go to sleep walk. And Diego, I'm getting ready to give Enzo a little grief. <laughs> well, gotta go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. The wind is blowing like you won't believe. And if you want to fly a kite, today is the day to do that. <laughs> but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna probably try the drone out in the wind. I want to see how much it affects it. And uh, maybe it's impossible to do it, but I want to know. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And like always, have a great day.